Oh, that's different. Hey, and welcome to the Multi Talkie channel. Yet another video sharing my whiskey journey. Now, in this video, I want to talk about a little, um, you know, feature of smelling whiskey. I'm not going to review whiskey this time, um, but as part of the journey, you know, you discover things. And I think this method has been mentioned before, but it's about smelling the whiskey in a different way. Of course, you could, you know, pour a dram, nose the glass, nose the whiskey, you know, kind of nose from the bottle itself, and or you know nose to cork and that way you can already get, get some nice flavor notes from the whiskey and especially the first few drams that you pour definitely have a very characteristic um, smell to them and you know with every dram it kind of changes uh, but what I notice when I pour a whiskey and I spill something uh, sometimes uh, you know you get a little bit of an extra flavor note here and there uh, because it's on your hands and you kind of notice well my hands kind of smell like whiskey what is this so in this video i'd like to demonstrate the drop and hand method again is i think it's a method that's already been mentioned uh, in the whiskey community probably some people know it but uh, i kind of found it interesting discovering this myself i did not know of this method beforehand that you can actually smell the whiskey in a different way just because some whiskey is spilling on your hand so i've got it here in a bottle of kalila mock um it's already finished as you can see <laughs> unfortunately it was my first PT whiskey, non-age statement, pretty nice. Uh, I wanted to get a Kulila 12, um, or was it 10? I think it was 12 um, initially, but then that was sold out. So I, I actually went for this one. Uh, it was quite nice. I can give you some tasting notes. Of course, it's not a really full review. It's a very nice whiskey. It's You have brown sugar, of course, peat and ash and fire. It's just a classic PT whiskey, basically. Probably not as complex as more of the older whiskeys, but still. Um, you know, this, this peatiness and fire and ashiness and the star was very apparent, especially on the first couple of drams. And on the nose, um, I mean, that's of course important for the video. What I cut on the nose, you know, smelling it from the actual glass was more like vanilla, uh, kind of a syrup, kind of a mineral note, um, sort of a seaside beach, kind of salty note like that. Uh, something like seaweed, a lot of ashiness, peatiness and tar. Uh, if you've ever been to Norway and you have seen those stave churches, they're all black and, you know, kind of covered in the star. And that's really the smell that really um, kind of brought me back to Norway in a sense. Uh, and barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce sometime, somehow is very apparent with this whiskey because uh, kind of the sugar note together with the smoky uh, note, you know, really makes it kind of taste and smell like barbecue sauce, smoky barbecue sauce. Um, that you would get with a good, any good barbecue. Uh, this bottle is empty, but I'm pretty sure there's still an, uh, um, you know drop left. So with this method, what we're just gonna do with the final drop, we're just gonna put it on our hands, kind of you know, spread it around and kind of find out what the whiskey smells like, if we can get any more flavor notes. And of course, this is the last drop. This is not something that you should normally try with the last drop probably, maybe on your first pour. You know, there's always something that will spill off the sides of the bottle that you can use. So. Let me just open this it's a cork. Oh man, <laughs> this is so good. I miss I miss this whiskey now, now that I'm smelling it. I'm not getting much more out of the bottle, but it's more on the cork. Really this oh, ashiness, fire, smoky, barbecue sauce, just fantastic. So I'm hoping that there's still a a drop left but I'm pretty sure there is so let's find out yeah something is coming there we go oh yeah definitely it's just one drop and what I'm gonna do is kind of spread it around on the hands like you would wash your hands and then smell it oh that's different very malty coming that through now you kind of smell beyond the smoke, more like very savory notes coming through. I think I might need a little bit more than a drop. I'm, I'm trying to get as much as possible. Of course, I should not be trying this with an empty bottle probably, but still, you know, it would kind of help. I think you need might need a little bit more than one drop <laughs> after all. But let's see. <sighs> Some woodiness, some savory note. Very nice. It's really the, the ashiness that you get from the cork. 
it's not really there. Very interesting. It's an interesting experiment. You, you do get some other flavor notes here and there. It, it quickly fades. Um, I'm gonna try this with another whiskey sometime. But I do get more woodiness, more somehow a very savory note, like he kind of uh, like cooking, you know, bread over the barbecue, you know, like you would do do in the Boy Scouts or whatever. <laughs> that kind of thing. That's very interesting. It kind of fades away right now, so there's not much left to smell. But it's an interesting method. Make sure that you give it a try when you're a whiskey. Of course, it could work with any whiskey, any whiskey that uh, has a good, you know, amount of nosing notes, so to speak. So uh, any whiskey that has complexity on the nose, um, you know, could first pour the dram and find out, and then you know, get a little bit on your hands and actually try to smell it. Of course. It will kind of stay on your hands for a little while, but I really like it. Um, this method. Let's smell the cork one more time. The cork is much more peaty, more sweet, a lot different, and the, the bottle itself. Yeah, I'm not getting much more out of the bottle, but you know. If you ever want to go back to a whiskey, uh, you know, like this, and you haven't thrown away the uh, the bottle yet you could still if you want to experience the whiskey at least a little bit you know get the last drops leave the last drops in there and then once you feel like it hmm, i feel like a pt whiskey uh, i want to try a pt whiskey once again then just um, you know get those drops on your hands and then kind of smell it so you can you know remember that whiskey so maybe that's the best part of this method it allows you to remember the whiskey that you had maybe a couple months ago I mean, I still leave my bottles in here most of the time. Uh, you know, it's kind of it's, it looks like a collection, but they're actually not not full. Uh, but this really brought me back to this whiskey more than smelling it just from the bottle. You know, just getting that drop on your hand really takes me back. That's quite wonderful. And of course, the cork could also work. The cork kind of retains that smell as well. So you know, try all of them. But the the drop in hand method really works. I would say to go beyond the dominant flavors, you know, by kind of spreading the whiskey around, maybe that somehow helps bringing out some of the other tasting and, uh, well, not really tasting the nose uh, notes through, you know, uh, it helps to um, kind of get rid of the more harsh uh, notes that you would find on the nose when you would uh, smell it from the glass. So I hope this video has been uh, useful to any of you, uh, that you give this a try with your whiskey. And um, by the way, you know, this again was my first smoky dram, so to speak. Uh, again, if you're new to this channel, I've just started my whiskey journey about, well, I think two or three years ago. Um, I'm sharing the whiskey journey now on YouTube. And I do got this whiskey at the standby, the Lafroy 10. It's my first H Stadium whiskey uh, that I want to try. And I'm kind of saving it for a special moment. I'm going to busy it next week with something special if that turns out well. I might give this whiskey a try on a live stream. Um, so I do have experience with live streaming. So it would be great if you could join in. If you could subscribe to the channel, make sure that you you know hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, so you know when I'm live. I also post uh, updates on my Facebook page and, and Instagram and Twitter will also become more active soon. Uh, I'll be trying the Lafroy 10 on a live, you know, as my first smoky dram and my first dram uh, with an H statement, actually. Um, of course, you might wonder, why did you pick a PT whiskey as a first H statement whiskey? Well, I did uh, try other H statement whiskeys before, uh, but this is really the first bottle that I got myself. I'm really looking forward to it, kind of looking forward to it, how it compares to the Kalila Mock. Um, yeah, I've heard a lot of good stories about it, so let's find out. So, thank you for watching this video here on Multitalking. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. And uh, I'll say cheers and see you next time.